So here we're told that we have a laser Doppler velocimeter reading the velocity of water flowing through an open channel. Uh, we have the dimensions of the channel and we have the rate at which the water flows through it as well as the density and we have to find the mass flow rate. So let me start with the schematic. So essentially you have these blue arrows indicating that water is flowing in this direction, uh, sort of into the screen at, that, at the angle out of the channel. And then over here you have a little uh, window on the right of the channel and you have a laser flashing through it and it's just going to read the rate at which the particles are moving through this channel. So with that aside, we're given the dimensions of this channel as well. So we're told that it's a 0 0.5 meter by 0 0.2 meter channel. And it is rectangular, so the area is pretty easy to find here. And we're also given that the density of that water is 998 kilograms per cubic meter. And last, we're also told that the velocity is... Um, eight meters per second. We're asked to find the mass flow rate of that water, so m dot, and it's gonna be in kilograms per second. Some number in kilograms per second. That's what we're looking for. So remember the relation of, this is actually like a middle school relation of um, density is equal to mass divided by volume. Well, in this case, if you just add a rate to it, you'll have the mass flow rate divided by the volumetric flow rate is equal to the density. And if we just rearrange for the mass flow rate, you'll have that the mass flow rate is equal to the density times the volumetric flow rate. And we can break down that unit of volumetric flow rate. So all volumetric flow rate actually is, is its velocity times area. That's all it is. Think about it. You have meters cubed per second for volumetric flow rate. And then you have that being equal to velocity times area, which is going to be meters per second times meters squared. And as you can see, you'd get meters cubed per second. So that's that proves that. So we'll break that down into velocity times area down here. Multiply that by the density, and you're going to have the mass flow rate. So this is the relation that we're going to use. Pretty much we have everything we need now to fill in for this equation. So we have mass flow rate is what we're looking for is equal to the density. We had it given as 998. And I'm gonna keep the units here. So kilograms per meter cubed times the velo uh, velocity, which was eight meters per second. And then times the area. So the area would be 0 0.2, just base times height, 0 0.2 meters times 0 0.5 meters. And then as you can see, you'd have a meter times a meter gives you meters squared. Meters squared times meter gives you meters cubed. And then you have a meters cubed over here on the bottom, so that's going to cancel out. So you have meters cubed, and you can get rid of all these meters. And then you have a kilogram over here, and you have a second over here. So that's your unit. It's going to be in kilograms per second. And when you multiply all of this out, you'll have that the mass flow rate is equal to 798.4 and that's kilograms per second.